12. We are at the last question. Question number four. What is the question number four points? Uh, which of the following best describes the role of the moon, stars, and wind in the passage? So if we observe that uh, the role of the moon, stars, and wind in the passage, we find out in the first pass first paragraph of the passage. So uh, the first paragraph where it is clearly stated about what mm, in this particular line where it is stated about the secrets whispered, even keep us from knowledge of the secrets whispered. Uh, afterward, upon the tented wind that blew across the scene of the day's work and that night's death and suffering, many a lonely moon was bright upon the battle battleground and uh, many a star kept mournful. Uh, yeah. And many a star kept mournful watch upon it, and many a wind from every quarter of the earth blew over it before the traces of the fight were worn away. Now, if you look into this particular line or these lines in the passage, the moon and stars are described as what? Moon and stars are indicating what kept mournful watch upon it bright upon the battleground and many a star kept mournful watching watch upon it so in that case the moon is described as lonely and bright upon the battleground lonely moon uh, represented as lonely and bright upon the battleground suggesting it's what enduring presence of or enduring presence over time. Enduring. Enduring presence over time. Presence over time. Enduring presence over time. And uh, another one is indicating that uh, the stars are characterized as, as keeping a mournful watch, isn't it? Mournful watch upon it, indicating that consistent observation. So, so stars also indicating as a consistent observation. Because it is stated no mournful watch, which is known as a consistent observation. So, uh, this portal of the moon and stars as actually constant witness to the battlefield signifies the passage of time. So, this is what you would find out that what? Consistent observation, enduring presence over time. So indicating about what moon and stars are clearly the symbol of what means constant witness to the battlefield and they signify the passage of time. As nights and days pass and as the moon and stars, as for the line clearly stated, what means uh, uh, that night's death and suffering and you talk about right up on the battleground, isn't it? So um, you would find out many a lonely moon was right up on the battleground and many a star kept mournful watch upon it and many a wind from every quarter of the earth flew over it before the dresses of the fly fight were worn away. So on the basis of that, we could clearly get the idea that they serve as a visual and symbolic representation of time moving forward. So uh, now look into the option in which of the option it indicates about the passage of time. Yes, if you look into the option, we find out one option one stated the moon and stars symbolize the passage of time. Now, this could be the uh, kind of a answer option which we are looking for. Look at the option two, uh, whether option two, uh, two, three, four are giving any kind of a better than the first one. The first, uh, second option says the wind, moon, and stars represent the battle casualties, battles casualty. Now, if you if you observe that option two doesn't point out, doesn't associate the moon, stars, and wind with casualty. So, therefore, we cannot consider option two would be the means appropriate answer to this. Even you talk about that this option 
this uh, the passage does not indicate that the moon stars or wind represent the battle schedule. Instead, the moon and stars are described as what observers, right? Observers instead of casualties. So uh, they are the observers of the battlefield, and the wind is mentioned as carrying secrets, but it does not represent casualty. Now look at the option three. So therefore, we consider option two is wrong or distort the idea. Option 3 said, the moon and stars represent hope and comfort. Now, this one is again indicating different idea in the aftermath of the battle. The moon and stars represent hope and comfort in the aftermath of the battle. Does it align with the text, actually? It doesn't align with the text. Um, the passage does not suggest that the moon and stars symbolize hope and comfort. Their role is more about observing and marking the passage of time and their presence, their presence does not inherently convey a sense of hope or comfort. So the last option for the wind carried away the remnants of the battle. Even uh, this option is also not directly supported by the text either. While the passage mentions the wind blowing over the battlefield, blowing over the battlefield. It does not specifically state that the wind carried away remnants of the battle. It is more about the wind being a carrier of secrets and an element of the scene rather than a literal removal of remnants. So therefore, we could get that our answer would be option one. Well, yeah. So option two, three, four are wrong on the basis of what? Means indicating about uh, battles casualty, indicating about hope and comfort, and indicating about the men's remnants of battle, which they are not. So the moon and star symbolize the passage of time is the best description because it aligns with the text portrayal of the moon and stars as silent observer of the battlefield, signifying the passage of time as they continue to shine over the same. Isn't it? So hence, the answer option will be one. I hope you understood the whole text as well as the question 14 to 8.